The next settings we're going to talk about are the photon and light map. And we're going to take a look at the difference between photon and light map. First of all, let me tell you uh, the basic difference between photon and light map. In photon map, the photons are shot from the direction of the light source. So your light source emit the photons and they bounce around the scene. While in light map, the photons are shot from the camera. From the camera and they bounce around until they reach the light source. And this is fundamental difference between photon and light map. So first, let's render out the light map. I'm only going to render out the photons, so I'm going to switch to global unfiltered mode so we can see the exact photons in the scene. So you can see here the dots represent the position of photons where they hit the surface. And it is the light map. And now the photon map. And you can see there is a big difference between photon map and the light map. In light map the distribution of photons is even around the scene. This is because the photons are shot from the camera equally in all directions. While in photon map the photons are more dense near to the light source. And if we render out photon mapping, and let's do the photon map first. And let's render out the light map just to compare. You will see now that photon map looks much better than the light map, especially below this teapot you will see a better shadows in a photon map compared to light map. Light map tends to give a more washed out result. You don't get as much detailed shadows as with photon map. And if we do another example, I'm going to move the camera. So let's move the camera into the room next to our small room, like here. These two rooms are connected only by this small corridor, so the light, which starts here, has to bounce around this corridor to reach this room. And this will show you that photon map, in this case, it works much better than the light map. So let's bring up our career options panel, and let's first do the light map. I will actually need to increase the intensity of the light so we get enough light into this room let's try like this and I also need to increase the number of photons so we get enough photons bouncing around into this room so I'm going to multiply this by 10 and render out so this is going to take a little bit more time now because it has to shoot more photons so you can see here now that light map looks very splotchy in the corners now let's compare it to photon map with the same settings 5 million photons Okay, so if I compare the two now, you can see that photon map looks much cleaner than the light map. And this is fundamental difference between light map and photon map. Because in light map, photons will try to reach the light source, but not many photons will find the light source because it's hidden be behind these walls. While in photon map, the photons will come directly from the light source and will reach the room 
and therefore make a smoother solution. However, there are some drawbacks to the photon map, and the major one is that you cannot use a lightwave backdrop. So, for example, if I use gradient backdrop, photon map will not see it, or this environment photon map will not see it. So, if you want to use photon map, make sure you map it onto a sphere, onto a real geometry object, and use that as your light source. Another problem with photon maps that can appear is that photon distribution is not equal in all the places your camera goes. So, for example, if you have an animation where camera travels through the room, you can have more density of photons in some parts of the room, and in other parts of the room you will have very few photons. Now this will not happen with lightmap, because lightmap always shoots from the camera and will shoot photons exactly where it needs them. So this is why lightmap is easier to use and people almost always use lightmap. But nevertheless, there are cases when photon map behaves better. And also you can overcome the problem of photon density by using light portals but we will talk more about light portals in some later tutorial.